All right, so let's assume at this point that you are familiar with the two listings that are relevant to Inclusion Customs, that being the Build Your Own and the Extra Options listing. Let's go ahead and run through some of these options. So all these can be found either just with the filtering by selecting Custom or doing Shop All Custom. Uh, all right, so I'm going to randomly go ahead and start building a Claw Packer. This is the Build Your Own listing where you're purchasing the actual toy and paying for the actual inclusion. So I'm going to grab a random size from this. Uh, there is some information up here available, just, you know, skim through that. Uh, but basically what I'm going to do is just grab the Inclusion Pour option. Uh, it's going to give you some more links again. Um, these are also up here as functional hyperlinks. These are copy and paste versions. Um, and then you basically are just going to be able to choose whichever listing you want. Uh, every once in a while, it'll give you little options for add-ons. Like if you want to add slightly discounted eyeballs into your brain pour, you can do that. Um, and then it's going to give you options for selecting the firmness. Uh, currently, I'm only offering this with near clear silicone. Uh, I highly recommend you read the info on the website about that. And then if you see a note about a pre-order, that basically just means I am the silicone at my distributor is currently out of stock and I'm waiting for it to come back in so I can place an order. So it might delay wait times, but I will be getting it eventually. Again, just might take longer to get you the pores out. So currently that is the case with the soft silicone as I'm recording this video. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and click that. Another thing to be aware of is the inclusion shapes are percentage based. So if I switch this pricing to large, the inclusion shape is going to increase. All right, so that's basically it um, for this particular listing. There is some other notes in here. Like, again, this is for a totally clear toy with whatever default colored inclusions you have selected up here. So in this case, default eyeball colors in clear silicone with no base colors, nothing else, just clear with eyeballs in it. Um, if that's cool with you, awesome, you're done. Just go ahead and add this to your cart and you can go ahead and check out normally. If you do want to do extra customization to your stuff, you're going to want to grab this link here open that in a new tab and go ahead and find the corresponding, in this case, eyeball inclusion listing, uh, and then add the additional custom options to that. Again, that listing is not mandatory. This is the one, the build your own listing is the one that actually purchases the toy. And if you have any extra notes, um, you're welcome to, to include those here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that to my cart. And idle here while that does the thing. Cool, it has done the thing. I'm gonna go ahead and just repaste that up here. All right, so like I said, once you're done with that, uh, you can go and look at these extra custom options listing here. And you're gonna wanna grab the one, like if you selected doing eyeball inclusions, you're gonna wanna grab the eyeball inclusion listing. You wanna go ahead and do that. And depending on the inclusion that you've chosen, you're gonna get different options that pop up here. Again, there's a lot of different information. Um, a lot of it is about sort of de uh, default selections for like what you'll get without clicking any options, stuff like that. Um, the eyeball one is the most complex one that I currently have at the moment because I allow a lot of customization. Um, I do also suggest skimming through some of these images, the product images. There's different examples of like different base colors. Um, there's a diagram of the eyeball that might help with some of the options, etc. Like what bloodshot means, all of that. So again, inclusion dependent, there's going to be a bunch of little infographics like this in the, the options. And for this one, basically, there's three different things you can customize. So one, the inclusion itself, where you can select the different parts of the eye, and depending on what options you choose, it's going to uh, pop up some different options for you. So in this one, like if you wanted, uh, let's just say I wanted uh, demon, uh, you want all of your eyes to be demon eyes with, um, let's do red pupils, and I want to customize the iris, and for the iris, I'm going to do it's gonna be a weird demon eye. It's gonna be like green with uh, sea foam blue or whatever this color is here. Um, and then I also want, maybe let's just say the sclera or like the white of the eye. I want that to be black. So again, we want like, you can customize the entire look of the eye if you want to. Uh, you can also remove the sclera. Uh, so in this case, if you do that, if we look at this little eyeball diagram up here, what that's gonna do is basically remove this white part and the iris color is going to be the majority of the toy. So you're basically gonna have like the big iris and then like just a pupil and no eye white at all. Um, so that's what that option is uh, if you choose to remove that uh, or not. And then there are additional options for the default base colors of the toy. So a lot of these do have sort of complementary colors which are just sort of, I think, look nice. You do need to select them additionally but they don't cost any extra money. Um, so in this case, we have the Mountain Dew with the silver blobbed backing. Uh, and that is basically going to be, again, pictured up here. Um, 
And then if you decide that you want something different for the base color, that will be an additional fee where you can add on uh, sort of, there's like two levels. There's, uh, I want a different base color of a predefined set, in this case, sort of Halloween-y colors. Or if you want something, again, super custom, what you can do is add on an additional base color and make it like this dark metallic purple. Um, if you want to add glow powder into the base, you can be aware that it kind of makes stuff sink a little bit. Um, so that would basically be like, if I added glow powder into this, it'd probably start oozing up into the squid's face. Um, and then just select if you want the traditional blaze base or the blob split, uh, which again, infographics above, I'm going to go ahead and do blob split because I think they're fun and I like saying blob split. Um, and then if you want, you can back that with silver, which basically is just going to be pouring a layer of silver behind the base color selected above, which kind of gives it like a little bit more of a shiny effect. So that's an option if you want it. Um, you can also, in this case, for eyeballs, choose the option to make them bloodshot, which is basically going to be adding swirls of red silicone into the clear of the background. Um, so again, this is not an inclusion, just modifying on the actual clear silicone of the main body of the toy. And then if you want additional colors for that, like let's say I wanted uh, yellow uh, for that, you could select yellow instead of the red. And then you can write in whatever notes, like if you're ordering multiple toys, you might want to make a note like, hey, this one is for the medium fur coat. Or something like that, just so I know what you're doing. If there's any ambiguity and I'm not sure about your options, I'm going to email you before I start pouring stuff. But again, if you just want to like include those notes to make my life easier, you can totally do that. Uh, these listings are also going to be uh, a base price of zero before I start, not $999. I'm just trying to make people not buy these right while I'm experimenting with them. So we're going to go ahead and I'm gonna add that to my cart. And that is pretty much all you need to do. Um, so if we look at the cart, you're going to see probably two listings with a giant wall of text in them, and that's totally fine. Um, but this is basically what it's going to look like, where again, this is ordering a single toy. The extra options are just sort of modifying your existing inclusion for it chosen in the build your own listing. And again, the only other thing I ask, and again, if you don't do this, I'm going to reach out anyway, but if you happen to be ordering multiple things with eyeballs in it, and you have these uh, eyeball inclusion extra options on here, just make a little note, again, down here, which which model you want this to apply to. Um, or, like, I want this one to be just the eyeball inclusion, and this one is going to be, you know, mixed into the brains or something like that. Um, just so I know what the heck I'm looking at. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. You can go ahead and sort of check out and do things, and then I will pour the thing and send you a thing. Hopefully that makes sense. If it didn't make sense, please reach out with questions. Um, this is, I think probably the most streamlined version of the listing structure I made so far, and I hope it makes sense, but if it doesn't, again, feel free to reach out with any questions you might have. Good luck!